in association with NerdAddiction.com. Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to Facebook.com slash UltraMaximusReviews. Hello YouTube, UltraMaximus back with another video update. Now, San Diego Comic-Con has come and gone, and we got some great reveals on Marvel Legends figures, Transformers, and a lot of other cool stuff coming out this year. Along with the upcoming Bumblebee movie, they revealed a new line called Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. Now, I'm presuming this is the kind of wrap-up to the whole Transformer Cybertron line. We had the Fall of Cybertron, War of Cybertron, based on the video games, and now we have Siege. So I don't know if the actual video game is going to come or not. Um, if you know, leave a comment down below. But we're definitely getting some new figures. It's going to be the new adult, I guess, or older kid line of Transformers, and definitely some interesting releases. Now a big thanks to the usual suspects on uh, the images from online, thanks to tformers.com, uh, cybertron.com, tfw2005.com. Uh, um, I'm going to leave links in the description below so you can go check out their pages. Um, great places to find good Transformer stuff, been on them for years, and of course, check out the images. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the reveals of the upcoming Transformers Siege figures and see what we think. Now first up we have Optimus Prime, and I'm definitely digging this figure. He has a very um, Earth-based mode here in the vehicle. Now this was actually released prior to San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, we knew this was coming, and they actually had the figures out for display at the Comic-Con. i got to say, I like it. Uh, very cool. It's interesting. It's got the, I don't know, those are headlights at the top above the uh, windshield or additional windshields. Interesting looking, but he's definitely very beefy, very G1-esque looking. Uh, I am liking him. Big old battle axe. We're getting battle masters, and I'm presuming that axe is one of those, which is... Uh, really not target masters, but they could be axes and swords and things like that. So um, interesting uh, little partners, um, or arms micron, I guess, uh, like in Transformers Prime type of uh, figures, which is cool. Um, you know, that works for me. Uh, but yeah, definitely liking this guy. What do you guys think? Um, uh, it, it's very Optimus Prime, very cool. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to be a very, very fun figure. Now, next up, we have Ultra Magnus. This was a reveal from uh, San Diego Comic-Con, and I'm definitely digging this. Uh, this is very cool. So, this is a leader class figure. It's pretty much, it's looking like it's the Optimus Prime figure. Uh, we get the white Prime version of Magnus, and then he comes with a trailer um, that turns into Ultra Magnus. And um, what I'm really digging about this, it's got the Robots in Disguise 2001 line look in the vehicle mode. Um, I love that. It's one of my more favorite alternate Magnus figures uh, to begin with. And uh, it'd be nice if it combined to make a uh, Omega Prime with uh, Optimus, but I, I doubt we get that. But it's a nice homage. Definitely digging this. Um, he's going to be nice, big, and beefy with the armor. Uh, I'm sure that's what's going to make him a lot bigger. Um, what do you guys think? I think this is a great-looking figure. It's a great idea and cannot wait for this one to come out. Next up, we have a Deluxe Class Hound figure. Um, definitely digging this. Very G1-esque looking. Um, he's got kind of a Hummer uh, Jeep mode, which I'm definitely digging. The tires look really cool, big and beefy. Um, the robot mode, very G1, definitely liking him, uh, very militaristic. Um, I haven't had a good hound figure in a while, probably since one of the Generations lines. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm down with this one. Uh, he's always a classic figure, and it's going to be a classic, fun bot to have in the collection. All right, next up we have the Micromasters Autobot Race Car Patrol Set. Um, definitely digging these guys. Um, so we're getting Micromasters, uh, which is very cool. That kind of um, brings into the 
the whole target masters and power masters and things. We haven't had micro masters, actual micro masters, in a long time. Um, I'm presuming they're going to have some kind of play gimmick with the larger bots. I know there's another set called Battle Masters where they turn into weapons. Um, I think these guys are going to turn into weapons too, but I'm not sure. Um, I guess we'll find out more as the line progresses. What do you guys think? What have you heard? Leave a comment below. So here we have a couple more MicroMasters. This is the Autobot Rescue Patrol set. Um, I don't know if these are going to come individually or come in little sets. I'm presuming they're going to come in little sets because they're going to be, I, I'm guessing, smaller than Legends figures. They look like they're going to be about the size of a Headmaster, maybe. Um, not really sure yet. Um, I like this set a lot. I like the little fire truck. I like the little police car. I thought the police car was barricaded at first. Um, but uh, it looks like he's got some Cybertronian on the side of his uh, door, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, definitely interested to see uh, what the gimmick is with these guys. Um, and it's fun to see the MicroMasters back. Here we have the MicroMaster Autobot Battle Patrol set. And I know these guys turn into weapons because I've seen some uh, video online of that. So I'm presuming, like I said, I'm presuming that's the gimmick. But we'll know for sure when more of the line comes out. Um, definitely ding these guys. Uh, very cool. Um, the one almost looks like Outback in his robot mode. Uh, but definitely liking the greens and browns. Very military looking and... Uh, uh, can't wait to see these guys uh, in hand with, like, Hound and the others. Now, here we have one of the Battle Masters. It's Lionizer, or is it Leonizer? Um, very cool. Basically, looks like a, a lion type of character that turns into a flaming sword, I'm guessing. Um, liking this idea. Um, again, kind of arms micron-ish. Uh, but uh, very cool, like the little partners. The, I love the robots that turn into the weapons. I always thought that was kind of fun. It's a good play gimmick, and uh, this guy looks very ravaged to me. Um, I'd like to see maybe a Leo Prime version uh, coloration to go with Optimus. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So next up we have Deluxe Class Cog, and uh, this guy looks cool, definitely digging him, and is it me, or does he look like he could be a trailer for Optimus Prime? Um, I'm wondering if he will uh, transform and merge with Optimus to become a Power Master Prime, uh, or God Master type of uh, character. Um, that's what it looks like to me. It wasn't, wasn't Cog one of the... Uh, characters or was it bomber i think it was bomber actually that merged with optimus to become god bomber um yeah this guy's really really cool and i'm betting i'm just betting he merges with optimus at least i hope so what do you guys think uh what are your thoughts put a comment down below Next up, we have Deluxe Class Chromia, and uh, to be honest, when I first saw this, I thought it was Blur. Um, I could see this easily being redone for Blur um, and Alita 1. I'm sure we're going to see an Alita 1 redeco and possibly even an RC redeco. Um, they're really kind of silly if they don't. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, this works for me. I like it. Uh, we haven't had a Chromia figure that turned into a vehicle. Um, that I can think of, uh, or vehicle, a uh, car mode, I guess, vehicle mode is a car. Um, she's been a motorcycle, but she, and, and I love that figure, um, but she hasn't been a car, which she was a car truck thing in the original G1. Um, so yeah, this works for me, and uh, I just, I see the mold being reused for a few female Autobots and Blur. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Next up, we have Sideswipe. Now, this figure, again, was uh, revealed prior to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, he's very G1 Earth mode uh, looking, which is very cool. I'm definitely digging him. Um, yeah, I mean, man, it looks good. I hope we get a Sun Streaker uh, to go with this guy, uh, but definitely pretty fun. And here's his vehicle mode. Very Earth mode looking, not uh, Cybertronian at all. So this leads me to believe that some of the characters are going to be Earth-based, some are going to be Cybertron-based. I'm presuming Siege, the Autobots on Earth are under Siege by the Decepticons. I don't know what you guys think, um, but it's definitely a very cool looking Sideswipe. 
And finally, we've got uh, Deluxe Class Ironhide here. Again, loving this bulky bot. Um, like the uh, alt mode, um, very uh, G1 uh, van type. Um, we haven't had a van um, Ironhide in a while since the Generations line. Uh, liking this guy. Obviously, we're going to get a redux of this as Ratchet at some point. Um, I swear I saw this guy, a white version of him that wasn't Ratchet. Uh, I want to say it was like Paradron or something. Um, but I couldn't find the images for the video. So if, uh, you did see that, then leave a message below. But I swear we had that. But this guy looks super cool and, uh, we're, we're going to get a Ratchet. I mean, there's no doubt. So here we have a shot of the uh, figures that were on debut on a little diorama. Uh, shout out to tformers.com for putting this picture up on their site. Uh, go check out their web uh, page. I'm going to put a link to their Facebook down below. Um, yeah, I, I, these look good. I like them. I like the concept of them. I think they look good. Very uh, G1 looking. Um, I'm guessing, like I said, I'm guessing this is kind of the wrap up of the whole Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron, but I haven't heard of a game release. Um, if you have, leave a comment below. If you went to San Diego Comic Con and you saw this stuff, let us know. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to put this over on my Facebook page. Uh, join the conversation over there. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this line. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, what are your thoughts? Now, I notice that uh, we don't have any Decepticons. I haven't seen any Decepticons in any of the releases, but we do have other um, conventions coming up, so they may be saving that for an upcoming release. Um, reveal at another convention, I guess we shall see. Um, I'm not sure on the release date of these figures. I'm going to guess... If they come out this year, they're going to be uh, around Christmas time, but I'm betting we're not going to see these till 2019. Um, again, if you know, leave a comment down below. I hope everybody had fun out at San Diego Comic-Con. Wish I was there this year. Uh, wasn't able to go. Uh, but uh, definitely some great-looking Transformers, and look forward to the collecting next year. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.